I want to move to the next element, which is setting goals that represent progress. Progress towards what we're trying to achieve, what we're trying to accomplish. And so I want to do a, another very quick activity that kind of illustrates the impact of setting goals. And so what I'm going to ask you to do, and you can work with the people sitting right next to you, work on your own, whatever you'd like to do. But I'm going to give you just two minutes, and we're going to depart from customer service for just a moment. And just a little trivia for you. I want you to think about the top 10 highest grossing movies of all time as judged by global box office sales. So let me give you two minutes, and let's see uh, how many of the top 10 you can come up with. So how many of you got uh, all five, uh, all ten? You got all ten? You got at least, how many of you got at least five? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, how many of you got seven? Seven? All right. Eight? Seven? That's pretty good. How many of you went online and tried to look it up? Right on. It was interesting, though. How do you feel about that? Is that fair game or is that cheating? Fair game. Yeah. Afterwards. Sure. Yeah. So I really did this. I mean, I'm sure all of us were, were curious coming into today. What are those top ten movies? But I really did this to show you the power of goals on our behavior. Having really simple goals kind of causes us to do a few things that we may or may not do. Now let's see if we can spot some of these things. What, what happened to us individually or in small groups when we had this goal? What did you notice? If you were to step back and say, what was going on in this room while we were working on this list? What did you see? Still ideas from other people. So you're still on ideas from other people. I like that. There's some disagreement interaction. Some disagreement? Tell me about that. There's definitely some back and forth as to, you know, I think this movie's on the list. No, I don't. Okay. Uh, so kind of working together, but kind of a constructive tension, if it, in a way, or constructive disagreement? Yeah. What else did you notice? Interactive. Interactive? Yeah. So you, was there, was there collaboration? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. What else did you notice? Was it a little competitiveness back here? Any, any little bit of competitiveness? No, we were just hungry to win. Hungry to win. Excited. Yeah. But I would say that's competitive, wouldn't you? Yeah, we want to win, right? We want to beat the other groups. We want to get all 10. It was interesting, though. The other thing that I saw with goals, so we see uh, a little innovation. All of a sudden, people are saying, wait a minute, there's nothing says I can't look this up. And so we start, so a few of you start looking it up online. So all these, would you say that, that generally in the workplace, these are good behaviors? These are things that we're looking for? Yeah? Did you notice that I didn't offer anybody a prize for getting all 10? I didn't tell you you're going to get the most money, you know, cash prize if you got all 10. Or I didn't say, you know what, your, your tips are going to be the best if you can get all 10 movies. And what's interesting is... Goals can have a very good impact on our performance and our behavior, but they can also have a negative impact if we're not careful about how we establish them and how we set them. 